We're gonna call this recording number one. Let's get it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nathan. You are in the Inspire CNC machine shop right now. As you can tell, I got my CNC's in the back. And here's another video for you guys that I wanted to bring. So, this video is gonna be about building a work computer. Um, because my current situation now is that I have a work computer inside the office. But as you can tell, my machines are back here. And so I find that walking back and forth between the machines and the computer and the office is really, it takes a lot of energy and time. So I wanted to build a computer and put it right over here. As you can see, right here, you see that pyramid? That's gonna be the computer case that I'm using. And um, we're gonna fill that up with all the good special hardware so that we can run our software and run those machines in the back. So this table right here is gonna be our standing desk. And, and so that is actually even closer to the Fadal and the Haas. So whenever I need to program something really small or little, I can just go there, program it real quick, use the USB jump drive, plug it in, load it, and then run, run the operation. Doing that before, uh, was a lot of work because again, I have to walk back and forth from the machine to the office, sit down to sitting down, getting up. That takes a lot of energy. And one thing that I learned about manufacturing is that you have to remove the little inefficiencies. And if you remove enough of them, all of those inefficiencies together is actually a large a chunk of time and energy that you actually save. So let, let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you guys my uh, all of my hardware that I purchased for the computer build. Let's go get it, let's get it, let's get it. So I'm gonna give you guys a walk around my workstation first to give you an idea of what we're doing with this. So I knew I needed a desk for standing. So I had bought this one and this is adjustable. You can crank this and it lowers or raises the height. And I wanted to get this table because um, instead of always running back and forth to a desk where I have to sit down on a chair and get back up, it takes a lot of energy. And just being in a standing position, you're always ready to move and do something else. So here's our standing desk and we're gonna be using this. And here's our telescoping arm for our, for the uh, computer monitor. So this is basically my computer is going to be like right here or my monitor is going to be right here while I stand and I do some work. And then if I want to sit down on this side, I just push the monitor over this side and we could come back over here and we could sit down, chill out and just program our parts. For stuff that's gonna take a lot of time, uh, I'm obviously gonna want to sit down, but if it's something short, I'll be standing up. Let me show you guys the hardware that I'm going to be using for this build. I have a AZA computer case. It's a pyramid. It's, I like it, it's super unique, and I think uh, for the work that we're doing here, basically we're making shapes, right? And so this pyramid kind of represents our work environment and what we're doing. So this is a cyber power PC. It has a uh, Intel i7-8700 processor. It's a six core, 12 thread. And this is a six gig uh, GTX 1060. And then uh, we have our RAM, RAM sticks. Uh, these are eight gigs each. Eight gigs each. And we have fans, a power supply. We have hard drives, solid state hard drives right here. So what we're basically doing is we're gonna take this computer, we're gonna transfer it to our computer case, we're gonna hook up our monitor, we're gonna install our software, and we're gonna see how it works. All right, you guys ready? I'm already scratching my table, God day. Right. I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, this is like, it's very similar to organ harvesting. Let's take out the memory sticks. We got the two memory sticks, 16 gigs, more than enough. Uh, we need a screwdriver for this one. Let's see what we can get. 
The truth is right now, my predicament is that I don't have Phillips screwdrivers. You don't need a flathead, but you find six flatheads is, is a goddamn curse. That's all it is. So I'm gonna take out the graphics card. Graphics card, oh my God. If you guys only knew how much, how expensive these are these days. Pull this out, oh my goodness. Our first organ. Some of this stuff, this is like the power supply cord. All right, the cords for the hard drive. Bust that out, come on baby. Oh, don't find me baby. All right, we're gonna remove the motherboard. We got six screws holding it in. All right, got the fan undone. Oh, do it a little bit. Oh my God, that's a little bit scary. And we got the motherboard coming out with the processor in it. Organ harvesting, we got the lungs, boys. Actually, that would be the brain. What in the turkey legs? has a solid state drive. Look how thin that is. All right, basically we're pretty much done. We have, I just have to take out the fans, the power supply, and then the hard drive. And then I kind of have to put things back together because I want to sell the case. It looks like we got everything in place. So let's go ahead and put on the case. Uh, we're gonna plug in the power and plug in the monitor and push the power button and let's see if she twerks. Take a good look at it. Isn't that cool? Let's see. It's a little bit of a glare. Moment of truth. Hit that button. Oh yes. Oh yes. All right. There we go. Let me turn off the light so we can see what it looks in the dark. Now that we got our PC running, I'm gonna install some software. We're gonna design a, a little simple part and see if we can generate a toolpath and load it into the Haas back there and see if the Haas can torque. We got one torquer, we got two torquers. We got, hopefully that one is torquing. I installed the program. I got the software up and running and I have our first test part. I wanna show you guys the test part here. So it's basically just a square with rounded corners and a slot in the middle. And then this is what the 
simulation will look like. You can see it's going through all the toolpaths and it's going to give us our part. We're going to take this file, put it into the Haas and uh, set up uh, our part, which is going to be or our work material, which is going to be this piece of aluminum and it should cut out that part right there. Before I do that, uh, since this video is about the computer, I wanted to see how much better this computer is for using this type of software. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this simulation and see how much of the graphics card and the, uh, the processor is being used. This box open right here, and it shows the performance of the PC. So up here we have the CPU usage, we have a memory, we have 16 gigabytes of memory, and then our GPU, uh, which is our graphics card, is that unit inside right there and that's basically going to handle our graphics so let's see as we simulate this and as we twirl it around how much uh, how much is relying on our hardware to uh, process it and I'm gonna play the simulation and let's see how our hardware reacts to uh, the software so our CPU is at 12, 13% and our GPU is at 12%. Our memory stayed the same. Let's give it a twirl. It's very dependent on the graphics card, um, more so than the CPU to use this software. So that's a good thing. We have a six gigabyte graphics card in there. It actually reached up to 40%. So it's pretty good that we do have a very nice graphics card in here because if we didn't, this toolpath simulation will probably be a lot slower. So our computer is excellent. Good stuff, so let's take this toolpath, we're gonna save it on our USB and then we're gonna bring it to the Haas and then we're gonna cut the, our work piece. Let's do it. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? All right, that's it for the PC build. I'm super happy how it turned out. And we actually were able to set up the software and create our first toolpath for the computer. And it worked out just fine. Check it out. Isn't that kind of cool? It's a pyramid. It's kind of like the centerpiece. It is sort of the brains of the operation. You have the Fadal, you have the Haas, and then you have the brains, you know, the Moivin Gloivins. I'm super happy about my workstation. You know, these, these, this desk I picked up, I, I chose myself, and then the stand-up desk, and you know, I, I, I custom built this piece back here. So all of this is like my own, you know, what I've imagined in my head about my, my own workspace and what feels good to me, so. I'm super happy about the PC and uh, thanks for uh, watching my videos. I'll bring you guys another video as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.